All right, well, welcome to Breakfast Table Math. Um, today we're going to look at division, but to really understand division, you have to understand what multiplication is. Multiplication is coming up with an understanding that you're finding groups of a given number. So we know that one group of 41 is 41. Let's say that you want to find 10 groups of 41. Well, a quick and easy way to do this is to count your zeros here in the problem. 10 groups of 41 is 410. There's one zero here. There's going to be one zero on my answer. 41 times 100, 100 groups of 41. Well, I've got two zeros, so I'm going to have two zeros here. My answer, 4,100, or we know 4,100. This is a good concept to know, so that when you get into division with big numbers, you're estimating uh, abilities are going to really help. I'm going to show you a way to divide big numbers with two-digit divisors. Remember that the number inside a box is the number being divided. So let's say we're going to have 4,134. Mm -hmm. Big number. And we're going to divide that by, we'll say, a two-digit number, like 36. Um, this number, 4,134, divided by 36, can be written out in this form. You have to remember, though, that when you're dividing, this number does not go out here outside the box. This is the number that goes in the box. This is your divisor over here. Sometimes people get that backwards, but now you'll know. A way to estimate. We're going to think about groups of 36 that can fit in there. Well, I know that one group of 36 is 36. Now, that's really too inefficient. I know that 10 groups is going to be 360. But if I have 100 groups, that's going to be 3,600. It's less than 4,134, so I know it can go in there. Subtract. And now we're working with a much smaller number. Now if we remember, 10 groups can fit in there. 10 times 36, 360. Subtract. Ooh, I can't take 6 from 3. I'm going to have to borrow over here. Borrow a group of 10. 6 from 13 is 7. And 3 from 4 is 1. Oh, I can still get 36 in there. I know I can get it in there once. And let's see, twice would be double that. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Now, if you don't want to just go in there once, you can do that. 36. We've got the borrow here. 8. Three, but oh, we still have a pretty big number to work with. Two groups of 36 would be 72. Sometimes you have to just kind of add them together to, you know, think about it. Two groups would be 72. Three groups would be 
18, 3, 6, 9, 10. Oh, I can get three groups in there easily. 100, 8. Oh, with a remainder of 30. 36 can't go into that. That's my remainder. I have 100 plus 10 plus four more groups. 114 groups of 36 with a remainder of 30. That's my answer. Hope you had fun at the breakfast math table.